On today's video, I'm gonna share three books I read in 2021 that literally has a chance to change your career in 2022. Let's do this. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal and welcome back to Flux. If this is your first time here, usually we talk about design and freelancing here, but today I'm gonna to talk about books. And the reason I wanna talk about books is because I'm a big believer that books are a wonderful way that cannot be translated to other formats to learn. Now, I love YouTube for learning, I love courses, I love TikTok, I love everything, but books are kind of like a format that goes really, really deep and has no re replacement in other courses. So sometimes shortcuts are good, but books are really a fantastic way to learn a method, a concept, and go really, really deep. Now, I love to read. Usually, the book, uh, I read fiction and nonfiction. Today, I'm gonna talk about nonfiction and kind of like business books, which usually I hear while riding my bike to the office on Audible. So that's how I consume them. Um, usually, you know, nonfiction book, I read the physical book, but uh, these books that I'm gonna recommend, all of them, I've heard them on Audible. So check them out. I think this is a great way on the way to the office and back to learn and expand your mind. And okay, let's talk about this. So during 2021, I read 12 books, kind of like, again, nonfiction books or business books, you can call them. Uh, I'll review, I'll, I'll give you a quick overview at the end of all of them, but I wanna focus on the three, not necessarily that made the best impact on me, and I'll talk more about that in the end, but the ones that I think can literally change your career. So let's dive into them. And the first one is called Gap Selling by Keenan. This is a book about sales, obviously, but it's mostly about how to do a discovery. So discovery means how to understand really what are the problems that your clients have instead of just pushing them your service or what you're trying to sell to them, you go through this discovery process by asking them all of these questions, diagnosing what the problem is. And once you have established what the problem is, selling to them becomes so much easier. Now this is, the, the process is described so well in this book. It's really a game changer. I've shared this and recommended this book to all of our students and I've actually started implementing um, and, and teaching this method in our courses. I also did, I think, a workshop here on YouTube about sales, which we've used this framework, so I'll try to link it here somewhere. But this is a really, if you're a freelancer and selling your services, you have to know how to do a discovery uh, properly. This will make your life so much easier. It will help position you as an expert and help you charge better prices. So this book is a game changer. Second book is called Story Worthy and I've actually just finished it like a few weeks ago. And this book is fantastic. This book is about storytelling, right? And how to tell a story. Now, for somebody like me who is talking to the camera and doing courses and content, obviously telling stories is important. But the truth is, it's also important for all of us. And this book, a lot of books about storytelling are basically kind of like, there's a hero, he goes through a journey, he, there's a transformation or something like this. But this book is really about how to share human stories. And it's, to be honest, I'll, I'll give you an example, which is a little bit sad, but the truth is uh, my grandmother passed away a few weeks ago and in her funeral, I, you know, I did a kind of like a eulogy and I've actually used the framework for this book to share a personal story of me and my grandmother and people were really touched by this. So this is really a framework about how to tell stories from your life in a way that really resonates with people and connects with people and create an emotional connection. So whether you are are interested in telling stories, you know, and creating content, or just telling stories, you know, around the the dinner table with your family or with your friends. This is really, really a fantastic framework of even how to realize about your life. What are the impactful moments on your life in your life? Um, and of course, if you're working with clients, this becomes um, obviously very, very helpful as well. So. I really like this book, it really impacted me. They also have kind of like what they call homework for life in this book, which is basically at the end of the day, thinking back about the day and finding the little stories in that day that are worth telling and sharing. Um, and this is really great, especially again, if you want to create content, 
finding a story every day is really, really a useful skill. Um, and I highly, highly recommend this book. Also, he's sharing in this book, and the guy that wrote Matthew Dix, the right who, who wrote the book actually reads the audio, the audio book, and he tells so many stories um, throughout the book. I, I have to say like, I kind of cried multiple times, I think. I, I was tearing, <laughs> riding on my bicycle, listening to all of his personal stories, and I was like tearing, but, it just demonstrate how powerful storytelling is. If you do this the right way, even just kind of like a day-to-day -day stories can become something that we all resonate with and connect with, and it's very, very powerful. The third book that I wanna recommend you is by uh, April April Dunford, and it's called Obviously Awesome. Now, this book is about product positioning. Now, if you're not sure about what is positioning, positioning is a concept from marketing, which is basically every product or service that we bring to market. We basically have to compare it, right, or position it against every other product out there so that people know why to choose specifically this product versus other product. And this is true, again, even if you are a freelancer, you're always uh, being considered around either other freelancers or other services like Fiverr or whatever. So there's always, you're always relative, your offer is always relative to everything else that goes around in the market. So you have to understand this concept of positioning, learn how to position yourself. However, in this book, um, she actually gives a framework for working with clients. So she is kind of like a consultant and she works with, I think, tech companies and she helps them position their companies. Now, this actually gives you a step-by-step -step process for positioning that you can run with your clients, meaning there's an extra service here that if you learn how to do this process, you can actually do this. You can charge extra money for this or you can deliver extra value for your clients when you help them position themselves properly. We've been actually using this framework in Flux Academy to think about our courses, how are our courses positioned around other solutions in the market. So this is very, very useful. And again, I think this can be career changing because you learn a new service here and you learn how to bring more value to each client that you work with. So again, these are the three books that I think can make the biggest impact for you. Looking at the books that I read this year, me personally, the, the best book that made the biggest impact on me is a book called Rocket Fuel. I've mentioned this a few times. This book was recommended to me from Joey, the CEO of School of Motion, and is basically about how in most companies, companies that grow in the leadership, there is a visionary and there is an integrator. Um, and you you want to make sure that these are separate people because they have separate comp uh, capabilities. And I read this book, understood basically, I'm a visionary, I'm not an integrator, I need to bring somebody else to manage the company, which I did. The reason I didn't recommend this book to you specifically, because I think this book is relevant if you're already managing a company that does one, two, three, four million dollars a year. And if you're still freelancing, running your own business, this might not be you know, applicable to you, so might not be worth your time for reading. The other uh, book that uh, I thought was really, really interesting, and it's not about work or freelancing, is called Confession of an Economic Hitman. This isn't actually an old book, but it shares the story of how, you know, United States is using kind of like economic mechanisms to, in essence, enslave other countries to create its empire. This is a history book, but it's a history that's not necessarily, you know, open um, and, and described or debated. Um, so it's really, really, really interesting. I think, by the way, if you're watching YouTube, I think, I don't remember the name of the channel, maybe it's Johnny Harris. He does a lot of books about how United States stole this and that. So he shares a lot of these kind of like perspectives. Anyway, I thought this was a really interesting book. What else we have here? How to Get Rich. Also, this is literally a very amusing book. So this book was written by, um, this uh, British magazine publisher who had like a net worth of like 500 million pounds or something like this. Um, and this is also uh, narrated in, in uh, or read in a British accent. And this book is so amusing. It's actually the truth about what it takes to get rich and also that it's not as glory as a lot of us who are interested maybe in getting rich think and all about the, um, you know, how lonely it is to actually be rich and all the downsides sides of being rich. So 
really, really fun book if you're interested in making a lot of money. Uh, it's worth kind of considering where you're heading to and do you actually want this thing? All right, I hope you found this video valuable. If you have any great book recommendation that you read in 2021 and you wanna share it with me, I might pick it up. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.